All right guys, I did some crown molding yesterday and I used this little Craig jig that I got from a friend of mine for five bucks. He was clearing out his workshop and uh, he said, hey man, you can have this for five bucks. And I thought, all right, I'll try that for five bucks. Uh, basically what this is, is a little jig that holds your crown molding on an angle and it's adjustable. So you can set it to whatever angle your crown molding is, 45 or 52. And uh, you can just use the miter angle on your saw instead of having to use the bevel and the miter when you lay the crown molding flat on the chop saw base like that. So I thought this would be a cool little cheat. And on paper, it looks like a great idea, doesn't it? I mean, it holds you at the perfect angle. You just chop it, okay? But you know what? This thing is freaking dangerous. <laughs> I thought I was gonna kill myself with this thing several times. Let me show you why. Uh, you just lay it on your chop saw base on this side or this side according to what corner you need to do, inside, left, inside, right, outside, right, outside, left. And then you lay your crown molding on it, set the correct angle, and then you just set your miter angle what you want and chop it. That seems pretty good. Well, here's the problem I ran into was that if you had a short cut off, say something like that, when it dropped from this raised position down to the saw base, or sometimes it would bounce, it would get caught by the teeth on the bottom side of the blade. And that's a huge issue if you've ever done carpentry because these teeth are moving super, super fast <laughs> and they caught that little cut off and zoom, shot it about a thousand miles an hour through the house. One of them almost hit Jono in the face. One of them like hit the ceiling. And the third time it did it, it like halfway destroyed our other chop saw. It came out of here so hard that it bent the backstop of our saw on the right side, completely destroyed the dust collection system, knocked two teeth off the blade and bent the blade severely. So the blade was 50 bucks. Uh, and then the other stuff was another 50 or hundred bucks. So cost me 150 bucks just on that one little cutoff. So I'm gonna say that I think I'm using this thing right and I've cut like 100,000 cuts on a chop saw. So that's what the boss gets for trying to cheat on crown molding. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> and thank God I wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> that thing is dangerous. Can't even do his own crown molding. <laughs> so maybe we could get some professional crown molders in here to do this right. Crown pro. It's for actually people that aren't pro. Crown, crown, not pros, which should be called. I just want to warn anybody else out there that has one of these to really watch out if you're going to use it. I think this is going to get the sledge matic Goodbye, friend. Glasses, check, check, check. I think it wants us to keep using it. <laughs> Hit it, man. Oh! All right, in the name of safety, we've taken care of this situation. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to, and you'll get our future videos. They'll probably be better than this one. So we'll see you later. Nailed it.